Hey everyone, uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Halo, the Master Chief Collection. I think. Yes, I am recording. Cool. We're back. A minute or two max. So, as long as it takes for me to finish this fight. Not the big fight I was finished. The little this this fight. It's gonna be like a long, like, Scooby Doo door sequence, because I feel like Halo really needs one of those. Pardon me, gentlemen. Boy, if that isn't a fucking thing, I don't know what a thing is. Pardon me, just sneaking through here. Guys, you two are currently locked, embroiled even, in space war of the highest degree. Really? You're just a dick. What am I holding? This. Uh, pardonnez-moi. I'm a reclaimer. I don't know if you know this. I'm fuel rod. Uh, it's a higher caliber gun than what I'm packing, but I'm really loath to use old weapons. I want to see all the cool new toys, you know? And, like, Storm Rifle's new, I guess. But, like, it still uses plasma instead of hard light bullets. We really have to make them sound like... Oh, I've already said Animal Crossing characters. I should try to do a new one every episode at least, right? Automatones. Is that how you pronounce those guys? Have we hit two minutes yet, Cortana? Are we, uh... The ETA on big porns. When is that download gonna be ready, Cortana? Man. There's this old SMBC comic about, like, using the internet for slightly evil purposes, and one of them is sending pornography to your friend. But, like, each of you stands at opposite sides of the church. Wow. Just really going to town on a motherfucker. Effervescent, really. Ooh, right, needle. Anyway, basically, if one was to use your phone and stand at the north side of a church, I assume Catholic is the, the one in the example, considering. And then your friend, standing at the south side of the church, sends you pornography, and you receive it on your phone. Oh, yeah. You have now successfully beamed porno through a nun's body. You gotta say, that's probably immoral. Gotta say as well though, follow up, never have I ever met a nice nun. Man. Like, I assume much in the same way that the UNSC like, made Chief into a sociopath. They probably also like, annihilated his like, lust centers. And just made him just fucking love like, death and destruction like nobody's business. And like, that's his thing now. But yeah, presumably he can't jerk off even if he wants to. A fate worse than death, or working for the United States military.
But, like, whether or not he can schlonk it, do you think he still looks at porn? Like, what if other Spartans with onboard AIs are like, Joyus, download some porn for me, you know? Like, imagine Cortana. Google the latest issue of Gigantic Asses for me. Like, you just gotta beam porn through your AI ship, girl. I mean, it could be well assumed that they weren't gonna change their minds without our help anyway. Alright. What are you there, buddy? Oh, I recognize you. You have a little friend from earlier. What? Now that. Jesus. It's like God slamming his car door. Now that is a marathon weapon if ever I've seen it. Whenever you're ready, energy shields. Hey, something's not right. We don't have time. The pillars! Touch the pillars! Had a call in sick to work the other day. This is what I did. Infinity, this is Sierra 117 of the UNSC Forward Under Dawn. Do you copy? It's so weird to hear him talk, like, conversationally or otherwise. Infinity, do you read? Like, I don't think Chief has ever really, like, in addition to talking a whole lot, Chief also did not say things Chief? that weren't like a snappy one liner. Chief, you know? the contacts. Find us an exit. Don't wait around on my account. You know? Sir, finishing this fight. I need a weapon. Thought I'd try shooting my way out. Mix things up a bit. You know, every Snappy Chief thing, everything that Chief has said has been a Snappy one liner And, like, maybe it's not that he's talking more. Maybe it's this... No, fuck it. <laughs> well, I guess that's how you escalate. I kind of love red muscle bodysuits that just look like actual human muscle tissue. I guess these things have red blood. So fades the great harvest of my betrayer. The great harvest of my betrayal. Even these beasts recognize what you were oblivious to, human. Your nobility has blinded you, as ever. The librarian left little to chance, didn't she? Turning my own guardians, my own world, against me. So, I'm not gonna be able to rely on enemy infighting to cheat my way through battles, huh? That's for me forever. If you haven't mastered even these primitives, then man has not attained the matter. Their ascendants may yet be prevented. Time was your ally, human. But now it has abandoned you. The foreigner. Um, well, the one forerunner. This tomb is now yours. Is 
So yeah, that guy beats up Chief in much the same way that somebody is, you know, faster than Sonic. Chief, please. Are we just gonna wake up from a subspace rupture? Is that how it works? Is this the third time we've woken up in this game? <laughs> now that is a marathon name if ever I have seen one. Oh my god, that you're for real? So I don't have health, but I do have infinite run go. No Cortana, I was going to stop. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, in keeping with what I've been talking about, maybe some people... Actually, no. Let's, let's get on this new thing. So, on... So, the skulls, right? There are optional things that you can turn on to make the game work. One of them is called Black Eye. It stops your shields from recharging unless you melee. But can you hop off the goat and melee these guys and still get back shield? Maybe it trains it every time you get back on. I wonder if alternatively... Land it! Maybe, like, splatter kills count as melee and then be able to bust it up. in like 10 minutes or like 10 seconds. Chief, if you were to fall on your ass and dig your heels in, no one would be mad Chief. at you. I feel like there should have been a comma there. I feel like I'm losing my ability to get uh, impressed by big, cool space boats. Though I will say, it's called the Infinity. The third marathon game is called Infinity. And like, we're fighting a super advanced mega brain. Have we wrapped around to Marathon? Or will we wrap around to Marathon, you know? Marking. Impact predicted 77.8 kilometers due north. Like, I know that Bungie has now directed three games, three franchises, two of them trilogies. One, one game short of a trilogy about humanity rising up and fighting you know where he's heading <laughs> fighting a Same evil empire of uh, aliens maybe multiple evil empires of aliens nice feel good about that and like if those start crossing over man i know that um the at time of uh, recording most recent destiny dlc apparently draws a whole whole lot from 
Marathon. No, the predecessor to Marathon. Pathways into Darkness, I believe it's called. Which I have not played and do not know where I could even start to play it. Marathon was very fortunately Something uh, tells me that's only because the dynamic released into open way. source and now can just be played whenever. Um, you can just download any marathon and it's legal and you can play it. UNSC forward which is how I did on station, ready to assist. Signals bouncing in and out. I can't clean it up. Light up their friend or foe tags. We're gonna need something to zero in on. Is that a thing we've always had or? Hi? Okay, cool. Just That scans the same one we saw on the I thought it was a big super beast. Personally. This is so interesting. Because like, hey, we're on a big space boat. We've all crash landed onto this big fucking object in space, but there's plants here. What the hell's going on? And Chief's done this dance before, multiple times in fact. Hmm. One of them's an officer. Oh. His IFF tag. The tag IDs him as Jimenez Alo J. Then Lasky's still out there somewhere. It feels weird to hear Chief say a human name, you know? Humans to him are all, sir, commander, captain. Eternally, you know. But yeah, we we have now reached the point where this is the plot of the first Halo. You know, the cast of aliens and or starship troopers have landed on a big dumb object. Uh, I talked about big dumb ob objects, what well, must have been like a year or more ago now, but for those unaware, there is a running concept in sci-fi particularly, I've lost my thing, called big dumb object. And it's just where you have this large object, dumb in the classical sense, it does not speak. And it makes the plot go. One of the best examples is always the monolith from 2001 in Space Odyssey. It's just a big fucking thing. People want to know more about it. That's what drives a lot of the plot. Oddly enough, a lot of people forget that in favor of, you know, just focusing on HAL 2000 and, nope, HAL, I want to say his name is HAL 3000. <laughs> Might be confusing him with Andre. Th Did you jizz your way over here, dude? Ah. Hal 9000. That's what it is. Oh! We get a little ranch mark with this. Do we get that for everything? We don't. All right, let's get my bitchin' out. It's a much boxier, like, larger shotgun. Way uglier. Reminds me of the June 2016 one. A little quicker, though. It's a little quicker. Hold up. What was that he dropped on the ground over there? Ooh, we gonna get a thing? Um, but yeah, BDO, big dumb object. The Halo is the first big dumb object, but Halo is not unique. There's seven of them. So, then there's the thing that had to build all the Halos. Build. Pardon. Huh. I guess we are Predator now. Because if this you want to have cool space shit, 
in a jungle, you're probably very quickly becoming Predator, my friend. Man, this thing does not pack a lot of punches. But each individual punch packs a lot of punch per punch. I need a weapon. Mate. This thing's nice and shiny and it gets a lot of work done. And I've killed six things with every bullet. But I only have so many. There you are, honey. Let's get back to work. Hmm? Whoa. Now that is something. <laughs> okay, learn my lesson. Good to keep that thing up for as long as I can. And I am blind and cannot see. Dude, the way that he just like summons that thing. Yeah, we've now hit upon our, like, ninth big dumb object for the Halo franchise. And it's Requiem. Like, you know, maybe that's not so bad. But yeah, like... We've got another IFF on the far side of this thicket. Already, like, Halo already stole from aliens and Starship Troopers like a motherfucker. This is known. But now that we're using cool vision to track guys in the jungle and we're this futuristic, like, like, war beast, we, we are Predator now, boys. Or, uh, Gaucha, I believe. Is the proper term. Steam achievement and Xbox achievement. Pest control. Kill a hundred crawlers. Is that what the little space dogs are called? Because I feel like it doesn't really adequately capture what the hell I'm fighting here. Sorry, fam. That's a space dog. They might be 3D printed and shit, but uh, still dogs. Another IFF, but as far as I can tell, we're moving into a choke point. This may end up as a dead end. Eh. I've got a worse bars. I like the little faces. I usually don't like things that have uh, sideways opening mouths as much, but you know what? They kind of work it. The ability to walk on walls is pretty useful for them. And it gives me more places to shoot. That's the friend or foe tag, but where's whoever it belongs to? Multiple IDs! Chief, they're friendlies! Hey guys, what's going on? Afraid we're gonna have to give you an IOU on that welcome home party. Tom Lasky, first officer of the Infinity. Never thought I'd see you again. Seal her up! I 
Thought you'd be taller. Ground forces are ordered to return to infinity immediately. Commander! Radio's hot! I mean, is that a Star Wars joke? Because you're like... 600 years too late. On what frequency? What frequency, dammit? Infinity, this is Commander Lasky. Pelican recon teams are down. Repeat, all birds are down. We got numerous casualties. I really love that Chief has gone full circle in his life and he sees, like, like originally, tiny little baby Chief is like, what is this big fucking thing in space? And this is Chief's big, like, ninth big fucking thing in space. And he's like, uh, another big fucking thing in space. Never seen that one before. Oh, you know. oh is this one built by this mysterious precursor race? You know. I love the idea of Chief just being like, oh yeah, real original. Never seen one of these before, guys. Run out of breathing repair real quick. Like picture Doom guy just like smirking at hell, just like, oh wow, another invasion. Let me guess, demons invade Mars. Really uh, push the envelope there, huh? Scan of the area. Top of your pay grade. In the foliage north of here. Should be big enough to bring in a dropship for evac. Of course, Doom Guy is never upset to kill demons. I feel like, you know, that's somewhat of a dismissal of Doom Guy that's maybe unfair. Because, like, I don't feel like Doom Guy would ever be, you know, off the money to kill some fucking demons. I feel like he would do that forever. And he will. Yeah, I don't know how much Doom Guy needs to eat or sleep, but, like, if he didn't, he wouldn't. That's just the kind of man he is. It would have been a real flex for her to be taller than Chief. You missed me with your uh, sword, fella. It would be a real flex for her to have been like taller than Chief. Like, oh yeah, while you're away. We started making Spartans taller. Thought you'd be interested in that. Now, granted, Spartans actually are getting shorter. Where's my... There we go. Part of this is because... Uh, Spartan 1's unstable. Fucked up. Too aggressive. Too aggro. And, like, there's only one survivor, and it's Sergeant Johnson, who's now double dead. Man, I was standing in front of you trying to be your shield, and here we are. Guess I'm just not getting appreciated. Man, that is a good gun sound, no matter who you ask. What in the hell was I talking about? Spartan Heights, right. Uh, Spartan 2s are guys like Chief. They're the first proper implementation of a lot of other things, like armor and energy shielding. And the Spartan project, really. So you start with a, a child. You just inject steroids in him until he's legally able to fight. And then you put him in power armor. And then you put energy shields on top of that power armor. And then you install the venom spitting glands. You know, etc. Guys, we got him. I don't know if. I guess you might not know. I love this. This tree bridge is cool, but it does remind me of Sonic 2006. I like this. I'm able to take a cool flanking position. I'm going to avoid stamping my feet up that beachhead because I don't feel like I'm going to get it anywhere fast. Yeah, Spartan 3s. Hello? Nice! Uh, 
I feel like one thing with uh, the hologram in, in Halo Reach was that they let you see your create a character. Which is great. We love him. We all love Noble Six. But like, I've seen Chief. Hi, what? Peanut Gallery came out and got me. Any more of those uh, guns, y'all? Haha. <laughs> right. Yeah, Spartan 3s aren't like as genetically mutilated by the time that they hit like puberty, so they're not as tall. Uh, which is one reason I think why Emil is so huge in Halo Reach, because almost everyone is Spartan 3s, but I think he's a Spartan 2. I got any guns over here? Oh, word? But yeah. They later, uh, in this trilogy, actually, implemented Spartan 4s. Which, um, you just take a normal soldier who's proven himself to be good, and you stick him in an expensive piece of military hardware. Because he's not just going to lose it, you know? Which is one reason why Buck becomes a Spartan. He takes the safety off. I mean, he would. If anyone would be chief. Teams won't last for long out here. Finding an LZ should be our top. That's priority. what got me. The big dogs came in and they were hungry. The Marines got trapped trying to get through these doors. Look for an interface. So I'm gonna. Am I gonna look for an interface or am I gonna be shown one? more important. These doors open into a cave system with a space large enough for an LZ. Hold them off long enough for me to open the doors. Oh, they're one of these, huh? I mean, I guess I've got the stuff to stick in and dig in and hold out, but you know, one of these classic like, oh, let me just uh, hack the doors. It'll take uh, some time. Sure, you've hacked the door before. You're you're well aware that it takes exactly as long as there are en as there are enemies. Can you guys get off my deck here! Wow. I was trying to get my shield up. It didn't go for some reason. Before. These doors open into a cave system with a space large enough for an LZ. Hold them off long enough for me to open the doors. Yowza. Incoming, huh? Man, this sounds like a drum beat. That is not a bad thing. That's, uh, that feels good. It looks good. It's great. Uh-huh, what now? Oh, mama. Okay. 
Railgun sounds fun, but it is too slow for me right now because I don't know how to use These it. doors open into a cave system with a space large enough for an LZ. Hold them off long enough for me to open the doors. You got it. I feel like Spartan 4s were their way to just bring back uh, Black from ODST. Because they wanted to do that, and Microsoft was paying anyway, so they were like, yeah, you know what, you will pay Nathan Fillion to come back in. He does need more work. I just don't like that he's getting the one job. Because everyone wants him to come in and be fucking Nathan Drake again. I've, again, though, I feel like this is a, a problem with LPing so many games of the same type. You do say the same thing a little bit, you know, more than once. I mean, part of that is because these games are all direct sequels to one another in a very close and tight net. Well-constructed universe, but still pretty much the same thing. Bam, bam, bam. Bish, bash, bosh. Man, I just realized this. Was the break in between Halo 3 and Halo 4 bigger in the real world than it was in universe. Because, like, think about the space between, like, Oblivion and Skyrim, you know? It took five years for those games to come out. But between Oblivion and Skyrim, one takes place in zero fourth era, one takes place in 200 fourth era. Like, you know, and I feel like that's fair. You'd want to move the game times ahead so people see like feel like they're seeing new shit whenever they buy a new game. Or compare Morrowind to uh, Oblivion. Morrowind takes place like 10 years before. has like a, uh, what is it, like a four-year gap, like a five-year gap between the two? Like, I feel like it's weird that less time has passed for Chief than it has for us. Like, granted, in his case, he wasn't even, like, awake for it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Chief wasn't even like awake for it, so he doesn't care. But like, Cortana saw Chief in less time in less time than it took for us to see Chief. And granted, she has much less of a life going on and much less of a life span. You know, if I was four years old and didn't see somebody until I was eight, well, I wouldn't care about them, but. I guess if he was like my dad, I think. But that would assume that I had like a rich relationship with him beforehand. I'm like, I don't really know how long it's been since. I guess the the space between um one and two were the biggest ones, right? That's kind of a thing, though, with a couple of uh, with. All kinds of stuff, really. Because sometimes there's that thing where, like, people don't expect to get a... Uh, people don't expect to get a, a sequel. But in fact, the first one makes so much money that it becomes a trilogy. Sorry about back there. That hatch of security was more difficult than I expected. It's all right. It's not all right. Nothing about it is all right. Can I only sprint for a couple Knight. seconds at a time? Wait, what's he doing? Covenant? They're working with the Prometheans? They worship them, Cortana. Didn't you... Like, I know that they're called the Prometheans and not the Forerunners, but... I, I feel like their worship of the Forerunners was, uh... 
mentioned pretty frequently in the other games. In fact, that's why they were a covenant, you know, a religious term. Well, a term that could be understood to mean religious, at least. Give me your gun, huh? Anyway, yeah, that's why they were the Covenant instead of just, like, the bureaucracy or the Federation, you know? Like, what if you met Muhammad and he was like, Alright, I need you to go kill these guys, you know? Or Peter. I mean, I guess that did happen to some people, and that's why the Crusades happened. Among other things. Oh, word. has unified these covenant again is this supposed to be like a covenant splinter cell because like I feel disheartened by the fact that like my victory to battle against the covenant meant like nothing if the covenant just immediately went back to fighting shit like what was the point of me doing anything I mean I guess halo right I stopped the rings from going off Jesus. Big rock. It's good looking rock formations. It's really more like a grenade launcher. When I think of a railgun, I might be thinking of a gun that's actually supposed to be called a gauss gun. Ah, they still have cowardice. Funny. Ah, oh, they want me to play with my new toy. Gotta say, I like your style. I saw this absolutely fucking mind-blowing detail from Halo Combat Evolved. When you reload the sniper rifle in Combat Evolved, and only Combat Evolved, only the first version of the first game, it's not present in any sequel or any remake. When you take... When you take the things, when you take the empty clip out of a... Oh, cool. When you take the clip out of uh, the sniper rifle, it is empty and does not have any bullets in it. And when you put a fresh magazine in, it is full of fresh bullets. Ordinarily, guns would just reuse the same model for an empty or full clip. This is Pelican 595. We have the chief on board and are outbound for rally And that's like the Alpha only game where Alpha. that has that kind of detail. Really guys? Weapons Let him have it. Hold on, who are you? It's my old friend. We're good to go, Chief. Let's show these Spartans how it's done. Oh, so these are Spartans. See, one thing that I did like about... Oh, yeah. Hop on, guys. Feel free. One thing that is just, like, fantastic about Reach is, like, when you're on... When you're when, you, when you're doing things, you know, it's essentially still your creative character. You're still the Noble Six doing some, like, trending exercises with, with your buds, you know, back, on, back at base. You can pretend that you're the Spartan that will become Noble Six, but... Secondly speaking, there is supposed to be but one Noble Six. And we can't all be him. But I like the vibe that these are all different Spartan forms, you know? I, I, love, I love that vibe. I think it's cool that, like, now you don't need to have an extremely traumatic backstory. You can be like, I wanted to settle my college debts. 
because this is Space America as opposed to an actual future, so of course there's still student loans and McDonald's, you know. So being Space, being space America, it's identical to 2000's America, but in the future. I didn't want to work at Space McDonald's, so I joined the space military to pay off my space student loans for space college. And I was, uh, you know, pretty good, followed orders, so they were like, do you want a promotion? You'll get this cool suit of armor, and I said, yeah, and now I'm a Spartan, you know? And that can be your backstory, boring as it is. Like, it implies that somebody's fucking your wife as you speak. Uh, you know. And maybe those of you who enjoy anime would prefer being a child soldier. I feel like it fits with the, the backstory and the theme, you know? The Spartan 4s indicate such an interesting piece of Halo media, and again, it's another turning point in Halo to begin with. But, like, the people who were... Watch your space. But, like, cons consider this, right? Originally, Spartans were supposed to be seen as, like, what if we hired Godzilla, right? You know? What if we all had a guy we just put as many drugs as we could into that guy. And then we put him into the most expensive piece of military hardware available. And then we put another most expensive piece of military hardware on that. But he's full of drugs so he can use both to his advantage. And that was how that was how the Spartans were made. And it's like, so like, uh, are you guys, um, you guys burning up a lot of children for this? And they're like, oh yeah, sure, every time. More than a hundred children have to die to assure that at least one Covenant gets got by a single Spartan. At, uh, in any battle. It's like, are we supposed to not be the, you know, the, the cannon fodder race? It's like, sir, don't stand in the way of military precision. And, like, Spartan 3s are like, so we don't even care how we fuck up these children. We're just going to keep fucking them up in a slightly quicker and more efficient way. We're going to do it like that. So, just get yourself ready for that. The hangar bay doors are sealed tight. And, like, one could comment on the use of Spartan 2s and 3s as an uh, example of depravity. Of just how fucked up, you know, Space America and Halsey is. Of like, yes, they really do be doing that. They are fully willing to just throw thousands and thousands of children and get the war effort done with. And originally, this wasn't this like, you know, noble resistance of a space jihad. Instead, this was just killing more humans who wanted a little more rights. You know, much like the real America before them. They were like, fuck you guys, you don't get rights. Now that we've fought to have rights in space, we determine who have rights. I see no way that this could backfire. In no way it could be compared to the British, or really any group in the past. It's new to decide that people don't have rights because I say so. And that's a new cool thing for me, says Space America. And the Spartans are like, you know what, yeah, I am going to shoot some insurrectionists. I don't care how many times I have to call them rebels. I won't feel bad about shooting a man who just wanted a little more money for his grain. Who cares how much he works? I get paid to shoot him. <laughs> like, there's angst there. There's cool things that could be done with it, but... They typically elect not to. And you know, because it's not the story they want to tell. Yeah, I, I kind of figured. I 
guy has to be shut down at least. Now. Alright. You're the next big problem. Master Chief? This is Captain Del Rio. Lasky just radioed. You picked a hell of a time to rejoin us. Sir, what's our status? That satellite took down the ship's See, that's more like the chief I know. Data from the ship's I'll sir this speak. and sir that. Can we no sir names. <laughs> main point of contact on the ship's upper hull. The fastest route is through the maintenance causeway. There's a mantis docked inside the door. Take it. You'll need the extra firepower. Word. Oh, that reminds me. Good time to cut the episode. Uh, I've been Alfred, everyone. This has been some more of Halo 4. Um, like it more than I thought. Maybe this will end up dethroning some of the uh, original trilogy. Uh, Reach is still probably the best. But, like, this feels good. It feels really good. Um, but yeah, uh, I've been out for the Halo 4. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Have a good day.